When your car reaches this point, the assembly is finished, but it is still about two hours away from shipping. So what happens during these two hours? The very first engine start also happens right here. First, a worker from the tow alignment team drives the car to the alignment area. The first step after a new car comes off the line is tow adjustment, which is what people usually call four-wheel alignment. Next, another worker drives the car onto the alignment machine. This machine has two levels. The upper level is for preparation, while the lower level is where the chassis parameters are adjusted. Before getting out of the car, the hood is opened, because headlight adjustment is also done at this station. Before the alignment starts, an onboard diagnostic connector is plugged in and connected to the system. A level tool is placed on the steering wheel because the wheels must be perfectly straight during alignment. Once everything is ready, the machine starts working. The wheels begin to rotate, and when the body moves left and right, it means the car is pulling off center. The system records all the data and displays it on a large screen. Workers on the lower level adjust the chassis parameters based on the screen until every value turns green. This is why you should not casually do a four-wheel alignment outside, because most shops do not have factory-level equipment like this. While the chassis is being adjusted below, the work above does not stop. With the hood open, the headlights are adjusted. The headlights shine onto a testing device, and workers adjust the bolts behind the headlights while watching the big screen. This is very different from adjusting lights by aiming at a wall. According to local regulations, the headlight beam must be lower on the left and higher on the right. At the same time, the adaptive cruise control calibration device lowers automatically. This process is fully automatic and does not require manual operation. Even mid-level trims without adaptive cruise control still come with the millimeter wave radar hardware installed. After all adjustments are complete, the same worker drives the car to the next area. This is the roller test, which simulates high-speed driving indoors. The test operator drives the car into the roller room, where the car experiences its first aggressive driving. The speed is increased to 140 km per hour. Dynamic performance is tested here, including braking force, acceleration, top speed, braking distance, emissions under different conditions, and fuel consumption. Once the roller test is finished, the car moves to the next station for exhaust testing. This equipment slowly rises and begins collecting exhaust gases. After all emission tests are completed, it is time for real-world testing. Now the car enters the road test phase. On-site road testing is extremely important for detecting abnormal noises and checking vehicle functions. The test track includes twisted roads, gravel roads, Belgian block roads, high-speed sections, and uneven manhole cover roads. Testing focuses on driving noise, control noise, and overall driving performance. From a user perspective, if any noise can be clearly noticed or affects the driving experience, the vehicle will be rejected and not allowed to leave the factory. Every car must pass strict road testing before it can be delivered. After returning from the road test, the car enters another critical area, the rain test zone. This extremely expensive system simulates heavy rain to check the body sealing performance and see if any water leaks occur. After the rain test, the surface is dried. Then inspectors carefully check the car. If everything is confirmed to be fine, the car moves to the final inspection line. At final inspection, the vehicle goes through one last electrical check. Functional issues and connector problems are detected here. The car is also set to transport mode. In transport mode, many functions are disabled, and the top speed is limited to 37 km per hour, so there is no need to worry about rough driving during transportation. Final inspection also checks vehicle functions and exterior surfaces. After passing, the car receives its quality certificate, insurance documents, and conformity certificate, all required for registration. The China compulsory certification mark is then applied, which can be removed later when window tint is installed. Next, the delivery team applies the fuel consumption label, vehicle nameplate, production date, and other key information. Once this is done, the car is handed over to the logistics team. They drive it out of the workshop and into a temporary parking lot, waiting to be loaded onto transport trucks and shipped across the country. This is the parking area. It is not very large. We produce more than 1,300 cars per day, so they cannot stay here for long and must be shipped out quickly. And one last question. Before a new car reaches your hands, how many people do you think have already driven it?